abundantly pardoned. February 13th, in heavenly places. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 7. Many do not move in the confidence of a living assurance that Christ is pleading before the Father as our intercessor. Christ has identified himself with our necessities and is able to supply every peculiar need of our weakness. During his life on this earth, he took the attitude of a suppliant, an earnest petitioner, seeking at the hand of the Father a fresh supply of strength, that he might be invigorated and refreshed and come forth with words of encouragement and lessons of consolation to impart to human beings. His words are to brace every soul for duty and strengthen every soul for trial. As Christ in his humanity sought strength from his Father, that he might be enabled to endure trial and temptation, so are we to do. We are to follow the example of the sinless Son of God. Daily we need help and grace and power from the source of all power. We are to cast our helpless souls upon the one who is ready to help us in every time of need. Too often we forget the Lord. Self gives way to impulse, and we lose the victories that we should gain. If we are overcome let us not delay to repent, and to accept the pardon that will place us on vantage ground. If we repent and believe, the cleansing power from God will be ours. His saving grace is freely offered. His pardon is given to all who will receive it. God will always accept confession if the evil that has been done is repented of. Our Heavenly Father makes the declaration, as I live. I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked should turn from his way and live. Ezekiel chapter 33 verse 11. Over every sinner that repents the angels of God rejoice with songs of joy. Not one sinner need be lost. Full and free is the gift of saving grace. We are living in the day of preparation. We must obtain a full supply of grace from the divine storehouse. The Lord has made provision for every day's demand. The Review and Herald, May 31, 1906.